Hi fellow network marketers, I'm Millie Rosier, back to you to give you a quick tutorial on Windows Movie Maker. So Windows Movie Maker is only on a PC and if you're using Windows, Windows XP or another one, if you're using a Mac then you'll find that there is a good program called iMovie Maker, I think. And uh, on Linux, well I'm sure if you're using Linux then you know exactly uh, what kind of program you can use. So it's easy, I'm sorry because my laptop is in French, but you'll find Windows Movie Maker in all programs. So you just start, click the start button and then on all programs Windows Movie Maker. And uh, your Windows Movie Maker should look exactly like mine, so even if it's in French, uh, don't worry about it, you'll find the exact same but at the same place. So, I've got all videos and I'm going to delete, so I just select them. Now, it's a button. So, to record a video once here, you just uh, on the first button say that you'll find a video camera on the first blue link that you'll see in the number one section here on the left. So, you just click there. And then you'll see a window that appears where you can select the type of video camera. And here you can uh, decide how you, the volume of your microphone is, so I'll always leave it low, but it depends on your microphone. Then here you can select the type of microphone that you're using and then the type of video camera. Sometimes you might have two choices, so you need to see which one works. Then you click the next button, and then here you need to enter the name of your file and where you want to save it. So the, the videos, so you can type, for example, test, if you're doing a test for the first time, and then put it in a folder where there is enough uh, space for it to be saved. And then you hit the next mm -hmm. button. Um, okay. So if you've already used that name, it will change it. So it just changed it. Then you hit next, and then you click on the first... Um, you select the first one, which says um, high quality for uh, using on my computer or something like that. And then you click next. And here you can see I'm right here, hi. And um, to start capturing my video, you need to hit the button start capture. And this button will help you stop the capture. So I'm going to start it. So you see it's capturing what I'm saying, hi, uh, it's the beginning, and then here there's uh, how long the video lasts, and um, size of the of your video. And then you have different options there that you can play with uh, until you're filming up with them. And then once you're done capturing your video, so we're done, you hit the stop button, and you click uh, end. Now it's creating the different clips, the different videos, so it will appear here. So it should create zero a second. Okay, so we created two clips. And now I recommend you hit File and Save Project As. And you save your project. It doesn't mean you're saving your video, it means you're saving the project. The videos that you just recorded are already on your hard drive, you're just saving the project. So I'll call it Test. Uh, uh, no, I'll call it like this. Whatever. Okay. And then, so you just uh, saved your project. Now you need to put your videos in the project. So you can hit Control and then Maj. So you can select both of your videos. Or just Control, I think that's enough. And then you drag them in this part. And it will add the clips. The video is really on the sense. So if Windows Movie Maker shuts down at that point, it means there is a problem in on your computer because uh, I had a, an old version and I reinstalled Windows and now it's working. Before it wasn't working, so I had to use another program called uh, Virtual Dub, which is a lot harder to learn how to use. This one is really easy. So now you've got your videos. If you hit play here, it will play the videos. You see, it's playing my, my video. And if you want to make it uh, shorter at the end because you move and you stop your video, for example, so you need to delete a part at the end and a part in the beginning, then you just click on the, the clip here 
and you will drag your skin uh, and it will make your skin it will edit it. See now it's shorter. Or you can leave a clip if you select it. So now this part, this clip is selected, the first one. If you hit sub, the sub button, it on your keyboard, then it will delete. Just deleted it. And if you made a mistake, you just go in this uh, menu and you hit cancel. See now back again. If you show it uh, too much, then you can make it longer and get your video back. See now it's a video. Back. You can also move this thing. You can click here, click here. You can start playing your video at a different uh, part of it. Now, if you want, you can add uh, video effects. It's in the number two section. Um, you can also create titles. So I just clicked on it to show you how it works. Uh, some people like to put a link at the end of their video or something like that. So you can hit the title after, after the clip that's selected. And then you put my video uh, marketing or my link, whatever, my company. Or so it shows like that. You can modify it. You can modify the, the type of uh, writing, the color and everything by clicking here. And then you just click add the title to the video and it just has the title here. And then you can also make it shorter if you don't want it to last too long. You have three words, for example, it's very quick to read so you don't want it to last 20 seconds. Maybe uh, five or ten is enough, so I just shorten it. So now this is the result. At the end, I have this uh, text. And you can do a lot more things. I just wanted to show you how it works really quickly. So if it shuts down in the middle of it, <laughs> it means there is a problem. Um, so I wish you a lot of uh, creative activities in Windows Movie Maker. But you need to know that you don't need to put all those titles, music, and everything on your video. If your content, your information is valuable and interesting to your listeners, then it's it's fine, okay? And they'll click on your link. If they really want to know about you, they'll go on the, in the description box on YouTube or something like that. And uh, they'll click on your link because they're interested in what you're doing. So that's really that simple. Then uh, you need to hit File, Save the Project. So you're saving your project, but you didn't save the final video. So you need to do Save the Video File. You select the first one, you hit next, then you, s you name it, you name your final fi file, your final file, hit next. Um, you can choose the best quality or you can uh, show more choices. I always pick the first one, it works fine with me. You hit next, it's creating the final video. You'll be able to find it so it's really simple. Go away and put it. And um, so this is it. if you have a contact, start sharing with other people. I'm sure you'll have a lot of followers. I'm wishing you a very good day, and I'll talk to you really soon. Bye bye.